Hey there, friends. Today we are going to be resetting this RS VAP2500 to its factory default settings. This is a wireless access point. All you're going to need is this little tool right here. This is actually a, a SIM card key for a cell phone. Uh, if you'd like to purchase one of these, I'll put a link for Amazon in the description box below. You can also use something that has a really fine uh, tip that you have laying around as well. So let's go ahead and do this right now. Okay, so in order to reset this little guy, it's actually very, very simple. We're just gonna come over here on the back and you're gonna see a reset button right there. Again, uh, make sure that this is on in the, uh, the on configuration. You can see there's an on off button, make sure it's on and plugged in. And then basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little key here and we're gonna insert it and I'm gonna hold down for about 15 seconds. You'll feel that little button in there depress as you push this in. And uh, again, we'll hold for 15. So that's been about five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That should be all we need. We can take that out. And uh, again, what, uh, what this will do is actually reset it to the factory default settings, okay? One of the other things that you will see is this green light on front will recycle. And uh, again, this isn't plugged into the, uh, the internet at this point. You can see there's the ethernet port. Um, so yeah, so all we really wanted to do is just get that thing recycled to its factory default settings. All right, that is it. That's the entire process. Hope that's helped. If it has, hit that thumbs up button. We're going to make a lot more videos uh, coming up soon. If you're looking for how to reset network names and passwords for RS uh, routers, uh, check out a link in the description box below. I'll put one for another video uh, that we made recently. All right, friends. Thanks so much. See you again soon.